Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to use Doodly to share some survey results with our audience on Facebook. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever had a situation where you've conducted a survey and you want to share the results with your Facebook audience? Maybe it's a customer satisfaction survey or a poll about which product they liked best. Whatever the reason, if you have survey results that you want to share, doing it in a doodly whiteboard video is a great way to do it. So that's what we're going to do today. And of course, we are going to need a survey to start with. For our purposes, we're going to use a fictional survey that asks people about their favorite color. The results of our survey are that 65% said their favorite color is blue. 20% said their favorite color is green, and 15% said their favorite color is red. Now that we have these results, let's get started creating our Doodly whiteboard video. So we're here in the main dashboard when you open up Doodly, and you want to click Create New Video. And you want to choose, do you want it to be a whiteboard, chalkboard, glassboard, or custom? I'm going just with the whiteboard. Let's give it a title, Facebook Survey Results and we want to choose a resolution. So I'm going to choose Facebook and Instagram because remember, we said we were going to share this on Facebook. And this resolution setting sets it to a nice 1000 by 1000 pixel square. And that's what I want. So I'm going to click Create. We have a blank square video. Next, we want to create a chart that visually displays our survey results. And we're going to do this using external software. Before we do, I want to show you just a very basic chart that I created in Excel. And we're using this as our inspiration, okay? So let's go over to vector.com. So that's V E C T R.com. And this is a free site where you can make very simple, basic vector designs. You don't even need an account. So I'm going to click Use Online. And what I want to do is I want to make a bar that is the appropriate color. I, I want you know, like a short red bar, a longer blue bar, and a shorter, a uh, short green bar. Okay. I want to use these just to give me an idea of the size differences. I'm going to click new artwork. Now I have some recent file sizes here that I used earlier, and I found that the 200 by 500 pixel is perfect for my bars. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. I'm just going to name it Blue Bar. And we're going to click Create. And now I have a rectangular canvas to create my Blue Bar. Click on the Shapes tool. And let's just click a little square. And we're just going to draw the square. Okay. Something like that. I want to kind of fill up this canvas as much as I can because I don't need a whole lot of the edges. Now I'm going to stretch it down, and now we want it to be blue, right? So we go to the fills, and click on the little dot, and we're going to change it to blue. And there we have it. That's our first bar. So I'm going to go ahead and export this. So click this, export, and I'm going to download it. It's an SVG. That is fine. Now this file went to my downloads by default, and that's fine, but I'm going to use the same file, so I'm moving it over to my desktop, okay? So now I can use this same file, change my color, and I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to look back at my little chart, and red is much, much, much smaller. Let's shrink this down, okay? I'd say that's probably pretty good. So now I want to export this. And again, it went to my downloads and it's going to be titled blue bar. Well, now we, not, we want to change that to red bar. And then I'm going to move it to my desktop again. And we want to now make it a little bit taller because it's going to be our green one. So it's taller than red. I'm just eyeballing it, guys. <laughs> I could, it's not going to be exact. And then I want to change it to green. Okay? And now we're going to export this one. And 
And again, I want to rename this and I'm going to drag it over to my desktop. Okay, that's it. So we have some bars created. So let's go into Doodly and we're going to create our little chart. Go to props, blue plus sign, and now let's just drag in our three bars that we created. So we've got them all through here. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Earlier I did upload my chart just so that we have an idea here of if those are good, and you know they are pretty good. I think maybe I would like this red to be just a little shorter. Now, how do I do that? Because I can't really crop it. Well, I have a little secret tip I'm gonna show you. So, now I have some white rectangles and squares that I've imported, and I like to use them to do little cropping things. So see, that hides that bottom part of the bar. So like that, right at the bottom. And now I can get rid of that. Okay, so now we need some lines. So let's go ahead and look up some lines. I like this dashed line. You could do that over here on this side. And then let's just copy and paste it. Do it a couple times. And now let's turn it sideways. And we're getting there. I think this black is awfully dark. So I'm selecting them all by control clicking. And I'm going to click the little gear icon. And I'm going to change the opacity to 50%. And I'm going to change the color to gray. And I think that'll look nicer. If that looks good. So I've added a character just to add a little personality to this video, and I want her to say the question. So I'm taking a speech bubble. Let's give it a good font. Let's do that here. And now let's put some numbers in here. Okay, so we're getting there. We need to do some arranging now. The lines should be the very first thing that comes on and then the bars and they need to come on in order so red comes on before blue and green white needs to be before these other ones then our girl then this and then we can put the numbers in last now because i did add this white rectangle it has to come on immediately following this red Otherwise, as you see, if it comes on first, the red looks messed up, right? So that's just something to be aware of. We want it to come on like instantly, so I'm gonna turn it to zero. I'm gonna adjust these timings. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and have my um, bars come on before I draw these lines. Now, we, we can leave the bars for now as the default where Doodly just scribbles them on. So let's see what that looks like. I do want to go into settings first though and turn off erase mode. It's just my personal preference. Okay. One last thing we can do is add the title of the survey. So let's just call it color survey. And this will be the first thing that we see so I am going to move it to the very beginning, something like that. Let's give it a color. Okay, we're almost done. I do want to go over here to scene settings and we want to extend the time at the end. Right now we have about a 15 second seam. Let's add another 15 seconds to the end.
So let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. And that's the basics of how to share survey results in a doodly whiteboard video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching!